We are following developing news out of Oroville, the infamous spillway being used for the first time in two years. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. I'm Dina Kupfer. Water is now flowing down the reconstructed Oroville Dam, the spillway there for the first time since it crumbled two years ago. In February of 2017, heavy rains caused it to break apart, forcing hundreds of thousands to evacuate from their homes. Well, this noon, we have Rachel Wolf, who is live near the Oroville Dam with more. Good morning and good afternoon to you, Rachel. Water is running, Dina, and it is quite impressive. The state says everything is operating as it should. There is the spillway right behind me. Look at that big water flow over those concrete barriers right there on the end. You know, the spillway's operation, well, it's just normal operation, part of the extensive flood management plan here in the North State. But everybody got a little bit anxious, even though the state says it is ready, because as we all recall, it wasn't ready back in 2017. Today, water was released from the spillway for the first time since then. Authorities say they needed to do this because of forecasted storms and the growing snowpack. It's expected that 8,300 cubic feet per second will be released by this afternoon and up to 20,000 cubic feet per second. All this going into the Feather River below. The state says $1.1 billion was spent to repair the spillway and the emergency spillway next to it, which were constructed back in the early 60s and repairs were made using 21st century engineering standards. This spillway has an average thickness of seven and a half feet of concrete. Um, it has 7,000 anchors. It has 12 and a half million pounds of reinforcing steel. Um, they are epoxy coated. Those are some of the um, details that are new to this spillway. Now back out here live, I just want you to see something. I want to explain it. You're looking at the main spillway. This is what looks like a big slide, like a concrete slide. To the left of it is the emergency spillway. Now the emergency spillway is uncontrolled. The spillway is controlled. And back in 2017, what happened is that the emergency spillway also started to collapse. It's kind of like a bathtub, but it fills too full. It spills over the top. So again, these are all mechanisms that help control water in the state of Northern California. The reservoir is at 854 feet right now. It has 900 foot capacity, but again, they want to manage this. They are monitoring this with drones up in the air. They also have mechanisms monitoring the pressure and also any movement. So again, they're going to be watching this very closely as the day goes on. Yeah, a highly anticipated release of water there, Rachel. I know you and I uh, both experienced what happened back in 2017, so this was a big day to see this work properly, for sure, from the Department of Water Resources. Thank you for giving us that live update from Oroville this noon.